What the heck? There is nothing wrong with that friggin' outfit. How the heck can a 20-year waitress veteran deny her service, claim that she ain't got no shirt on? There's nothing What's wrong up, with YouTube? her. Don Johnson here with the news update. Man, every day, the stories, every time you think you heard the craziest and stupidest news story out there, something happens to surpass it. I mean, it's constantly crazy stories. This story I just found on my Facebook post, a news story that WXYZ covered. Um, I'm going to try to put the link in. I don't have a computer. So, anyways, um, I guess in Washington, there's this uh, steakhouse called Buzz In. And uh, this waitress refused service to a pregnant woman who's seven and a half months long. And was wearing a tank top. What really got me pissed off is um, this uh, 20 year old veteran waitress. I mean, the, the statement says she's been there for 20 friggin' years. And um, so, yeah, first of all, there's no friggin' excuse to tell a pregnant woman who has a top on, they're pleading no shirt, no shoes, no service. What kind of crap is that? As you'll see in a picture, and you can watch the WXY. And here's the picture of the apology letter that the Buzz in in Washington released. It says that she's been there for 20 years, and she did. She uh, had the best judgment when she said that. Bull crap. We all know that we can almost guarantee in the 20 years she's been here, there's been people dressed way worse than her. It was discrimination because she was jealous. I bet you. Is what it boils down to. It. She has a short top on. Picture from WXYZ of the girl that was refused the service. Thing, what? 20 years. There's been chicks and guys, I'm guaranteeing, at their restaurant that had their guts showing. I'm, I, could almost guarantee, I could almost guarantee it. So, why the hell aren't the restaurant firing her rather than just covering for her. Oh, she's a nice girl, been here for 20 years. She didn't mean nothing by it. I think, what my opinion, that girl was jealous. That girl probably wanted some twins or something, or I don't know what the exact story is, just is my theory. That was uncalled for. I mean, really? You freaking that dumb? You had, I mean, there was no need for it. I mean, at first I thought maybe it was a brand new waitress, and that was, but when that, when the statement, the release said that that was a 20-year uh, veteran at the, at the restaurant, I about, my head about popped off. <laughs> so, yeah, um, check out the link below, and give me your thoughts and opinions and stories. I think the nice one was the lady who walked out without making a complaint other than posting it through Facebook or however the news got wind of it exactly, but that was downright wrong. They need to do more than a simple apology. They need to fire that girl or at least give her a month suspension from work without pay or something. There is no ex and I can't believe I read some of these Facebook uh, comments on it. Which you should be able to see them. There's actually people on the waitress's side. What the hell are you guys smoking? Her her chest was covered. She looked okay. She's pregnant. She looked like any pregnant girl would. And I'm like I said, I'm pretty sure I can almost guarantee it. In the 20 years that work girls worked there, there's been girls. Probably even girls that don't even look as decent as she did going in there with their bellies hanging out and overweight people. I mean, especially, yeah, even heavy guys or obese people bigger than me that got their bellies hanging out. She didn't kick them out and her belly was showing. So, yeah, I think it's freaking BS and everybody that's on the restaurant side for that 20-year veteran for calling her out like that, discriminating against her. I mean... What if she would have caused that girl to have something go wrong with the babies because it would have the depression or she could have caused some kind of negative thing in her head that could have like 
upset. I mean, you don't go to tell for everyone, oh, we refuse to serve you because you're not covered right. Or some malarkey. I mean, if anything, she should have went to a manager first and said, hey, um, you're just an employee. Unless you were a manager, well, then you definitely need demoted if you if she is a manager. I don't know. They didn't say too much, at least in the WXYZ article I saw. But, yeah. I think it's really freaking horrible. Everybody's losing their mind in this freaking world. I mean, like I said, there's nothing horrible about it. Talking about uh, food regulations and crap. I mean, come on. It's the tummy is no different than your arms and your head being bare and your legs being bare if you're wearing shorts. I just really believe this girl was a discrimination from the waitress because she was probably jealous because she was having twins. I don't know if this uh, waitress is married. I don't know if this waitress has kids of her own or can't or what the deal is. But I think it was just a clear cut of discrimination because this girl in some weird way was jealous of the late lady. And this, and if this girl don't, I mean, if they don't fire or reprimand this uh, waitress, they're just going to give a little talk to everybody as bullcrap. Yeah. Uh, I'll add the picture and then I'll add the link and maybe we'll do a video if I can figure out how to do it on my iPad. So check it out. And once again, I'm Don Johnson. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and share this video and leave comments about whatever. Um, more crazy news stories coming down the way, hopefully.